Yeah, this is a little tuna. Actually, it's a little yarn, I guess I'd call it. Uh, wrote about this fish I caught up in Wyoming last summer. I tell you what, it was a big fish. I mean, it was so big. Anyway, uh, it's called The Trouble with Trout Fishing on the Great Divide. And uh, I guess it's a little bit of cowboy poetry, but uh, a little story goes like this. Now the trouble with trout fishing on the Great Divide is you never know where those trouts are gonna hide. So you take your pole, your worm, your fly, and try to catch those trouts on the Great Divide. And when you catch those trouts on the Great Divide, well, you take them home and you start to fry. Throw them in the pan, put them on the grill, and you throw them in your belly until you get some fill. Mm, good doggy, love those trouts. Uh, one more time. did that. Can't use that? Yeah. This song is a song called The Trouble with Trout Fishing on the Great Divide. And uh, yeah, I can't remember what I did last time, so maybe you can do that. I don't know. <laughs> this might take about 10 takes if I can remember all the words. But anyway, it's about this big fish I caught. It was so big, it was a big one, that I had to come up with a little story about it. And it's not really a song, it's more a yarn, you know. A little bit of cowboy poetry in there, but... It goes like this. Now the trouble with trout fishing on the Great Divide is you never know where those trouts are gonna hide. So you take your pole, your worm, your fly, and try to catch those trouts on the Great Divide. When you catch those trouts on the Great Divide, well, you take them home, start to fry. Throw them in the pan, throw them on the grill, then you put them in your belly till you get your fill. Mm, good, love those trouts. You got your rainbows, cookies, cuts, throats, and browns, mackinaws, and goldens, well, they're hard to be found. You either gotta go real deep or go real high. It's an art just to know where to catch your fly. Well, one day I was up on that great divide and I was fishing for those trouts off the other side. And I had a big bite. He pulled me right in, hit my head, and I started to swim and spin. And man, well, it happened so fast it seemed like a dream. I slipped and slid all the way to New Orleans, across the plains from the great divide, down the Mississippi. It was a wild ride, I tell you. But when I opened my eyes there for me to behold the biggest dang trout at the end of my pole, but he kept on swimming right on into the Gulf of Mexico, with me in tow. But I wasn't gonna let him go. He was big. Biggest dang fish I ever seen. I wouldn't lie. Well, he drugged me across the drink through Tampa Bay on the Boca Grande, Captiva Way, right on down to Jensen's Twin Palms Marina. That's right. So there we were, jamming on the deck till the sun come down with Corky and Jimmy and some of the boys from town. And then that trout got restless and he started to run and my reel went zoom. I thought he'd won. Oh, but he didn't. I still had him. No way I was gonna let that guy go. Big. Now down past Marco to Goodland Key, that trout was having a field day with me. I had sand in my shorts and salt in my eyes. I was just lucky to be alive, I tell you. Well, we ended up down there at that little bar. We both were spent because we'd come so far. But the place was packed with all my friends. You see, they'd heard about that trout. Long, long swim. We were going to party, have us a feast, eat that sucker. Probably what it was. Well, about the time I went to drag him in, he spit the hook and he splashed me with his fin. Now, every time I tell this story, everybody thinks I lie. That there's a trouble with trout fishing on the Great Divide.